हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज मनीष सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एजवर्थ मॉडल ऑफ डिओपोली एजवर्थ डिवेल्पड हिज डिओपोली मॉडल इन एटीन नाइनटी सेवन एजवर्थ फॉलो सेम एजम्शन ऑफ बर्चेंट मॉडल ईट सेलर विल एज्यूम प्राइज ऑफ इज राइवल फॉर्म विल रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट रैदर दैन आउटपुट Edgeworth follows same assumption of Boyntent model. Each seller will assume price of his rival firm will remain constant rather than output. Main difference between Edgeworth and Boyntent model is that Boyntent assume firm has unlimited production capacity, but Edgeworth assume production capacity of firm is limited, not unlimited. Now we understand this model with the help of this diagram. Here we assume we have only two forms A and B. On x-axis this side we have output, and y-axis this side we have price. This L R this one is demand curve of form A. This L O this one is demand curve of form B. Maximum output form A can produce x D. Form A cannot produce output more than x D. and maximum output from b can produce x v from b cannot produce output more than x v minimum price both firm can charge is equal to x p1 means both firm cannot reduce their price below to x p1 if they do then they can't survive in market and maximum price they can charge x p2 so x p2 is a maximum price which both firm can charge this will be called maximum profit price suppose initially both firms are charging x p2 price at this price a is producing x an amount of output and earning profit equal to x p2 m n this part will be called profit of a at x p2 price and b is producing tx amount of output and earning profit equal to t k p p2 x this part will be called profit of b at this x p2 price everything is going good now suppose firm a decided to set its product price slightly below to x p2 please listen carefully now firm a decided to set its product price slightly below to x p2 but why suddenly firm a decided to reduce its product price obviously in order to earn more profit businesses want to earn more profit when price of a is less than the price of b then customer of b will come to a and eventually profit of a will increase so in order to earn more profit a decided to set its product price slightly below to x p2 means a decided to reduce its product price but when a will decided to reduce its product price then a will assume b will not change its product price prices of b will remain constant so now a reduce its product price from x p2 to x p3 here you can see profit of a has increased now profit of a is x p3 and 2d this part is uh, will be called a profit of a when a reduce its product price from a, a x p2 to x p3 so after reducing price profit of a has increased profit of a is equal to x p3 and 2d this part will be called profit of a after reducing price but this situation will give loss to b because customer of b is going to a how b can tolerate loss b is also in market for doing business every businesses want to earn profit so now b will also react now b decided to set its product price slightly below to x p3 when b will do this b will assume a will not change its product price the prices of a will remain constant now price of b is equal to x p4 at this price b is earning profit that is equal to v n3 p4 x this part will be called profit of b after reducing price now profit of b has increased no doubt now profit of b has increased but this is giving loss to a because customer of a is going to be now b a will react how a can tolerate loss now a decided to set its product price slightly below to x p4 
and when A will do this, A will assume B will not change its product price, prices or B will remain constant. When A will reduce its product price, uh, this situation obviously will give loss to B. Now B will react. It means now both firms are doing a price war. And this price war will remain continuous until they will reach at this uh, P1 price. And this X P1 will be called a minimum price. Firms cannot reduce its price below to X P1. So X P1 is minimum price. But P1 is not stable equilibrium price. In Edgeworth model, there is no stable equilibrium price. At this P1 price, both firms are just getting a normal profit, not maximum profit. Maximum profit point is P2. Now, suppose firm A decided to earn maximum profit. Obviously, in order to earn maximum profit, firm A has to charge P2 price. So, firm A decided to increase the product price from P1 to P2. But why firm A confidently decided to increase its product price from P1 to P2? It has two reasons. Because firm A knows B cannot reduce its product price below to P1 because this is minimum price. Second reason, firm A knows at P1 price, firm B is already producing XV amount of output, which is maximum amount of B. Firm cannot produce more than XV. That's why there is no uh, any scope firm B will take a customer of uh, A because uh, firm B cannot uh, fulfill demand of a customer A by producing more. That's why firm uh, A confidently increase its product price from P1 to P2. Now firm A is charging P2 price which is profit maximization price. Uh, obviously at this price firm A is earning uh, maximum profit. To see maximum profit of A, B will also react. Now B decided to set its product price slightly below to XP2. Suppose now price of uh, B is XP3. At this price, the profit of B will increase, but it will give loss to A. Now, A will react. Now, a prices of A is XP4. This will give a low profit to A, but loss to B. Now, B will react. And this price war will continue until they will reach at this P1 point. Again, this P1 point is not stable equilibrium point. Again, any, any of firm will react. And this process will remain continue. And there is no stable equilibrium point in Edgeworth model. So, this is all about Edgeworth model. I think you got it. And thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.